Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. For today's chamber, we are going to be having a play of The Glassworks Hustle. And this was made and recommended by Bad Aim, so a big thank you to Bad Aim. This was actually recommended quite a while ago, but it was recently pointed out in the comments that this is a good map for practicing my through portal mid-air orientation skills. That, or pointing out how ridiculously bad I am at mid-air orientation skills, having just flown through a portal. I always struggle with that, and it would be good to practice this thing. Uh, apparently it features the tubes that will give us cubes, laser reflection, laser reception, deadly deadly goo, riding in conveyance beams, deadly deadly lasers, bouncing on the blue gel, and the use of faith plates for an alternative style of bouncing. Right, so what have we actually got going on in here? Uh, first of all, yep, that's a lot of glass. I can see why you called it the glassworks. I assume we will be hustling about the place quite speedily. Uh, there's a bunch of ant lines going about the place. There is a cube. Well, there's a deadly, deadly goo first. There is a cube that's just being repetitively chucked through that fizzler there. Very, very wasteful, but uh, Aperture does seem to have a billion of the bloody things. So we've got the deadly, deadly goo. We've got a button here. This button is square, apparently. And... Well, okay, where is square? What is square? Ah, the thing directly above my head is square, apparently. So that's opening for a reason. We do seem to be on, like, a lower level of the glassworks in here. We've got some bouncy blue gel being pour poured down into this little pit. Probably going to need that for, you know, bouncing, as we tend to do. Random glass panel here, which might be uh, just a point to contemplate jumping in if you've had enough. Um, what can we start doing, then? Probably want to get that cube, right? I mean, at least to stop that noise, if anything else. And uh, our exit appears to be up there. Also, laser. Just going above everything. We go to anything else in here? There's a ball receptacle on the wall there. Okay, um, how do we go about getting this cube then, do you reckon? Probably involves blue gel. I've just seen a panel up there that looks like it's probably going to move. That or that's a very misleading ant line. A couple of panels here for... Lined up that way, do you think? Let's stick a portal on there, so that we've got blue gel as an option. Uh, could we go up here? Yeah, but is there any reason to go up here? Doesn't really look like it. I mean, let's put some gel there just to start getting the place covered in the stuff anyway. Do you not accept my portals? Ah, you only accept my portals from a very, very specific position. Okay, let's uh, move that there, so that should be nice and covered. Probably makes sense to cover, like, everywhere just because it's a gel map right and that's the easiest way to work out where you actually need gel is to cover literally everything in the stuff no not cover this bit of floor here is that just hitting glass and splashing off okay never mind uh i kind of wanted some more gel just like everywhere hmm. i am being limited in my ability to paint the place don't like that don't trust it so how do we get this cube then is there somewhere we can like make our way to where is moon moon who is moon are you moon oh there's a button up there well maybe we should try and get to that is that a good place to start can't seem to get any higher there how could we actually go about getting a higher bounce and we do need a cube to go on that button i think to keep this bit open so we can maybe get up to the next level here so what's a good uh, attack point for that cube? You hold that open. Yeah, we know that. Doesn't really help. I mean, I could... Maybe we could get like a speedy bounce going there. Let's try that then. Let's put a portal on you, which you only accept from that angle. Let's get a speed smacking head concussion bounce thing going here. And if we get enough speed here, maybe that'll take us higher? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Uh, now what? That's done something, right? What did it do? It did... Okay, stop the bounce, stop the bounce. I need to look at what I actually did. It did something all the way up there. No, that's the line coming from it. So it did something further up there. No, something there. Oh, there's a panel there now. There's a panel there. 
Do you think we could use the same thing here? Would that get us high enough to grab that cube? If we line up. Uh, there's a cube in midair here. Are we anywhere near high enough to grab that cube? Where even is that cube? I'm slowly using losing height. Can I? Ah, this is where keeping orientation was supposed to be an important factor, right? To actually know where the hell you are at any time. That's nowhere near high enough. That's not high enough. Okay, uh, maybe we do the thing in here again. We get our head smack going on here. And uh, then we still got blue out there, so we put the orange here maybe, and that'd be enough speed. Not like that. Like that, but, you know, much neater. Uh, let's put that back there out the way again. Or there will probably be easier for the moment. Let's get the bounce going again. And whilst we're up, that's higher. That's probably high enough to catch a cube. Yeah, we're smacking our head. Uh, it's going to be there, right? Any moment. Am I way out of time? Okay, where where even is the timing for this cube? Maybe if we just keep facing this way. And then turn slightly. That's bad timing for me. Can I rechange this timing slightly? If we do it again, just hope that it lines up slightly better, maybe. Uh, we want the orange... No, we want the orange under us again, don't we? So start this thing going again. Uh, when do you reckon is a good time to attempt to go get that cube? Like now? Am I ever going to line up for that? Always seem to be mistimed. Is there a way to judge the timing on this cube? And trying to remember how to keep orientation should be here, there. I'm always just slightly off time for that, aren't I? Can we... not that. What if I got blue gel all over this panel? And then we could move the blue out of the way, maybe. And then I could just sort of bounce there a bit better. That might work. Okay, stop that, stop that, stop that. Let's get some blue gel to go through the orange. Uh, I want to cover that panel there, so let's move the blue and it's a splosh all over it. That panel is now coated. Let's put the blue back on there again. Let's get a bounce going in here. No, not that. That's also got a load of gel in my face. Put the orange back over there out the way for the moment. Is this blue gel done? The blue gel is done. Get this going. Right, and then if I orientate and move the blue, I should just be able to stay bouncing here for a while, right? That should be better. Yay, I got a cube. Okay, uh, let's stop bouncing. Let's delicately place the cube there. Let's go back over to the other side of the room because we have obtained a cube, which means we can stick a cube on this button. Stick you on there. That opens that up, which would suggest we should go this way. Can we get enough height to get out of here? If I do it ever so slightly closer to the edge, maybe? Yeah, no, feel a bit short there. Still feeling a little bit short. Okay, let's uh, let's use the head concussion bounce maneuver again. I just like saying head concussion bounce, really. That's plenty of height. That gets us up there. All right, what have we got once we're up here? We've got a fizzler here. There's a laser reflection cube in there and some stairs. You can see where that laser's going now. Um, it's apparently going nowhere, so don't worry about that. Bunch more panels to move about the place. Some wall-mounted buttons. And a whole load of stuff down there that I hadn't even seen yet. What can we do whilst we're up here, then? And our exit is there, and that connects to... Where does that go? That goes to the ball receptacle there, which also does... That panel up there. Okay. Let's uh, head in here, then don't worry about the portals for the moment, see what else is about. Up here is a... Ooh, are you automatic? No, okay, you don't move for me. There is a small panel there that we could actually use. So what do we want to do next? Well, we've got laser reflection ability, but only... with a laser up there. I don't see anywhere to place the laser unless we can make you move somehow. Uh, is it you? Your moon. We saw a moon. Oh, well, that makes that go up for a start. 
it also makes that flip around. And there was somebody else that was a moon that we saw earlier that I can't remember now. Is there a moon out here? Was it that fizzler? Uh, yeah, that fizzler's a moon, so that should also turn off that fizzler, right? Which I can't quite see from here. I'm going to assume that, yes, it is doing that thing. What do you do if you're not on there, then? X and dot. Where's a load of X's and dots? Uh, weren't they over there? There's a dot over there. So was this already doing something? What has changed out here, then? You know, it would be really useful if I was able to remember things from five seconds ago. That's the same, right? Or is that that panel's come down, hasn't it? Let's quickly check that again, because of lack of ability to remember. Yeah, okay, that brings that particular panel down there. Uh, let's stick you on here for the moment. And that should be that fizzler off over there. So if we got a new cube, we could have a new cube delivered in here. I think we want new cubes. Uh, let's get a new cube then. We could destroy... Yeah, if we destroy you, you'll just be chucked up into that space there. Let's uh, do there. And where can I get a panel from here from? Oh, there's one on the side. Okay, this probably opens up as well by the looks of it. So we got blue down there. Let's stick an orange there. Let's grab you off of there closes that down. Uh, if we destroy this cube, we should get one chucked over there. That's probably why you opened up, so that we've got a panel in here to use. Let's get you to topple through. That's glass. Why would I think aiming at glass would help? I'm going to have to manually go through. It didn't land in a nice, neat spot. Uh, where are you? Okay, yes. Keeping orientation through portals, even when not doing a big bounce, can be tricky for me. So let's put you on here, X and dot as well. Probably gonna need the laser, right? And if that's going up... Oh, okay, hold on. Where would you even want to aim a laser? You want to aim a laser directly there. Let's grab you. Uh, let's aim you... There. There should line up, right? Yeah? There? There should line up. Then if I'm stood on here, you do do a laser there, and then you keep that open. Then you're not doing that over there. Then get off again. So I want you to stay open then. Stick you on this one for now. That goes back up to there. That opens up that panel we were looking at a second ago. And appears to give us a way to go. Do we need those cubes though is what I'm thinking. Um, well here's a couple of buttons. Let's just press these. So panel up there. Press U something up in there. What is up in there? There's a whole load of stuff up in there by the looks of it. I don't know. I can't quite make out what's going on up in there. I think there's another laser. I can just make out some sparks on the edge. So what else can we do now that we're... Yeah, there's another button up there as well. So how would you go about getting up there? Do you line up? You look like you line up. So we could launch ourselves out of there, maybe? Uh, let's have a look through there and see what is actually up there. There's no panel there, but we do probably want to get there for that button. So have I got a nice big drop kind of place somewhere? That's quite a distance. Where would launch me decently enough to get there, do you reckon? This is all glass, so we can't paint the glass. There's a lot more stuff going on in this chamber than I realised as well. A whole bunch of it tucked around there. Uh, moving panels pretty much everywhere. It's doing that thing. Yeah, where Portal can't work out what level something is behind glass. So, what did you do again? You don't do anything now, you're permanent. You're also permanent. So, probably get to that button seems like the next thing to try and do. Where can we get at a button? I can't jump in there. Uh, we can make it to that. So if we left blue over there, we head through this orange. Ah, wait, will I be able to see that panel? Maybe we get enough of a bounce going on in here. 
So, can I move that blue somewhere out the way for now? Do you reckon we'd be able to hit that panel? I reckon we might be able to. Let's, uh... Well, technically, I want the orange up there already. Can I have that pixel on the edge there, please? I can have that pixel on the edge. Perfect. Okay, let's put blue out the way there. Let's get a bounce going. Do we reckon this is enough of a bounce? I don't think this is enough of a bounce. Get a couple of them going. And then, is that enough? Okay, fine. Yep, that is enough. Let's press U. Which has done those down there. And I've pressed enough buttons at this point that I think quick save is valid. Oh, there's a bunch of those deadly lasers down there too. Uh, now we can get into this bit down there. Do I want to go in there just yet? I mean, I have pressed all the buttons in the general vicinity. So, yeah, maybe we do. Uh, here is a fizzler to... Oh, how much chamber is there? Christ, there's a lot more chamber than I thought there was in this one. Uh, portals, do we need to worry about them? Probably doesn't matter at the moment. Let's go see what's in here. In here is a conveyance beam, a, a laser reflection cube. Some nice crisscross stairs, like a grand entrance hole to an old manor. Uh, laser emitter, X and X. Button. Button is laser directly across the room. Do we reckon those move? They might come up, right? And that would hold a cube in just about the right place. Button in a little aquarium tank there. Actually, that would make a lousy aquarium tank. When have you ever seen an aquarium tank with two sides? That plan just doesn't work. And laser emitter faith plate button. Is that enough to get me if we do uh, this one? Yeah, but probably if I did it better than that. Let's line that up a little bit more lined up usefully. Use these stairs to get back up here. That laser receptor there as well. See if we can just air strafe into that little compartment. And button, button that does, button that does half of that. So that will get us another laser by the looks of it, so we probably want a cube here. Uh, there is a laser reflection cube over there. Want to get up there now, do you reckon? If we do the same thing again. And, you know, do it better than that again. Okay, fine, let's use the stairs. Probably do it from a few places, but at least over here looks lined up enough. Let's do uh, that one, and then not enough. So just not close enough, just not close enough. Let's put blue sideways. Sideways always tends to work better for air strafing. It's practically in the name. Head up here, what's this little space for? Hmm. Yeah, wait, why am I bothering to do that? Isn't that literally where we came in? Yeah, okay. That would have been a waste of time. What do you do? You do stuff in there with a conveyance beam. And out there. Interesting. Um, let's start putting cubes on things. So, you. You're just a new cube. You also say slash. Let's go stick this cube on the button there. Up here. Stick you onto that. That's half of that. And the other half of that is us stood on here. Actually, no, it's not. Ah, that was misperception of, of ant line leadings. Um, not that then. That's just that laser. So what's the other half of this then? The other half of this is these ant lines that track all the way back around here and stop here or is it this? No, this is out there and in there. There's that ball that we probably want at some point so we need to get a laser in there. Fizzler's still there so we can't go back out for the moment. What drops you? This laser receptor. Did that laser go anywhere useful? Not really. 
feel like I need to position it, or do we have to drop it? I wonder if dropping it is what we need to do. Let's get back up here, grab you off of there. If we lined up that there, backwards a little bit more, that's pretty much lined up, right? If that was lined up there, that's nowhere near enough height, right? Because I'd need to drop it to get it to start doing the thing, and dropping it's always going to be backwards. Unless we could do it backwards. Why don't we just try doing it backwards then? Uh, let's try orange on you, grab you from there. Let's put a blue at our feet here. Grab that. Was this a stupid idea? Cube, are you still doing the thing? You're still doing the thing. You keep doing that for me. That should be pointing the right way, right? Yeah, bloody little gap here. Don't lose momentum. I need you to keep doing that forever. Or at least until I'm ready for you. Oh, it's not lined up right. That could have been really good though, right? So I need to get that doing that again, but lined up better. Grab you. Needs to be pretty much perfectly straight on. Is that... No, the fact that I bumped into that did not help. Oh, wait. Can use that. Let's use that panel there to leap off of. That probably makes a lot more sense, right? Because we could actually just drop it now. And then run over there and do it. I overcomplicate things, as you may have noticed. So have you doing that there? Yeah, I know stairs. I need to get up here without bumping my laser cube. That's hopefully enough height still. Ah, oh, man, it's not enough height. But it would have been. It would have been plenty of height if I could, you know, not fuck up every two seconds. Let's do here, then. Nicely lined up in the middle. Where's the edge? There's the edge. Lined up. Drop. Right, that should be enough height if we can get round here quick enough. Stand on you. Please still be high enough. Okay, that's done a cube. Let's press that button. Um, that can keep doing whatever it is it's doing for the moment. Let's grab you. Take you up here. There's some set of stairs that have taken me to here where we can get a lot more height. And also drop a cube there. Uh, oh, that's also done half of that. The other half of which was you. Let's stick you... Really struggling with stairs. I think Bad Aim needs to make a map for me to practice, you know, going up and down stairs as well now. Stick you on there then. Gets us that laser there. I'm thinking we got to do the same thing though, right? If we get the laser going there, where would it need to go though? If it hits that one, we'll get a uh, edgeless safety cube, which will be launched. Where will that be launched? It'll just be launched... Into up there. Oh, it'd be caught in there. Okay. Uh, I can probably make that work. I do need you back, though. Can I nab you from here just for convenience sake? No? No? Okay, you're going to make me go the long way. Fine. Right, let's take you all the way back up these stairs. And all the way up the second set of stairs. You're going to need to be dropped in at, like, that angle. And then I need to jump down on that button as well. Let's use quick save. Uh, let's think about this before we do that and actually put a portal where we're going to need it. That laser comes straight across here. So where would be a good place to have the blue? Would it matter? Probably not, right? So you're going to be dropped into there. But you actually need to be that sort of angle. And let's get you with plenty of height to start with. You can almost hit the ceiling. That's probably enough height. Then you do that. Then I jump into here. Oh, come on. Do I really have had to have been there on the very first go? All right, fine. Give me that back. Unless I'm missing something else. This feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, stairs. Stairs are apparently awkward for me today. I have to get it on the very, very first go. 
don't think I can get that cube out of there. That appears to be a permanent button pressing kind of cube. Uh, yep, fall down there for no apparent reason. I think this is what we're planning. So I think we just want to get that ball launched out there. Yeah. So, get you lined up and then I have to get right down there really quick by the looks of it. Why don't we put the blue... Does it matter where that is? Let's put the blue there for the sake of uh, variety. Okay, you don't want me to have the blue there. Fine. I'll do it manually from over here. What's the point of having range on your portal gun? I mean, really, that was pointless, right? That shouldn't matter at all. Let's, uh... Well, why don't I get you lined up a bit better as well, actually? Like... There, right? Since it's a map that's supposed to be teaching me about orientation, just like those health classes the church insisted on. And... Up to the ceiling. Don't even need the jump. Do that, then I go here. Laser! It tapped it. It launched the ball. The ball has gone into where we thought it would. Cool. Grab me that cube. Uh, I think we're going to need this cube again for this other button that's up here. Because you stick on here, which does a conveyance beam in that space in there. But it also flips that panel around. I think we're done with this portion of the chamber, for the moment anyway. Uh, we can go and grab you nice and easily, like that. And then there was actually somewhere we needed to stick this ball, right? Actually, you sit there a sec. Don't roll off too far. Deadly Deadly Lasers Conveyance Beam. What moves you? Is it you? It is you. So we need a cube. We need a cube. Uh, what else did it move? Also flips that guy out there. And makes me smack into the wall there. Okay. So how do we get a ball in there? Is that faith plates on the floor? I'm not sure what that is on the floor in there. How do you get a ball in there? That doesn't have like any opening anywhere, does it? Entirely glassed in there. We could drop the ball through there and hope it goes somewhere good. We need a cube to do that. How can I get a cube out here now? Uh, in there, right? We could... Have... Oh, no, wait. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. Um, what would get us a cube out through this fizzler? Or do we need to try and get back to another cube? We're glassed off from that. Can't see it from there. Although... Wait. Didn't I have a ball here a minute ago? Did it bloody roll away and get itself destroyed? Oh, I hate edgeless safety cubes. They never stay still. Thank you. you you've um, solved a portion of the puzzle for me without me seeing what you did. I'm going to take it. Okay, thank you. Uh, I assume whilst I was stood on you... Yeah, when I was stood on you, you probably rolled down into there. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so that's going to stick back in there. That opens up our exit up there, so how do we get to the exit now? Uh, oh, that's out the way. Okay, um, let's quick save here just before this potentially kills me. Then up into straight into the exit. Okay. Yeah, I like Bad Aims maps. They've always got a really nice, like, literal flow. Can you describe a puzzle map as literal? Each step leads to the next step. Yeah, I like that. It's sort of uh, somewhat idiot-proof, and I apologise that I completely missed a portion of that puzzle by the ball just solving it for me. Hey, so uh, edgeless safety cubes aren't that bad after all. So that was the Glassworks Hustle by Bad Aim. A very, very big thank you to Bad Aim. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play and possibly miss solve by not paying attention, then please do so by the usual means, as indicated by your bendy pal in the corner of the screen. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, thank you very, very much for watching. And remember, when hustling around glass, be careful. That shit's sharp.